Welcome to the series of Azure ML Toolbox video tutorials. Today I am going to talk about cross-validate model control in Azure ML. It cross-validates parameter estimates for classification or regression models by partitioning the data. Cross-validation is a standard technique used in machine learning to assess both the variability of a data set and the reliability of any model trained using that data. Cross-validate model takes an untrained classification or regression model and a dataset as an input. It divides the dataset into some number of subsets, also called as folds, and then builds a model on each and then returns a set of accuracy statistics. By comparing the accuracy statistics for each fold, you can interpret the quality of the dataset and understand whether the model is susceptible to variations in the data. It is simple to use, but it takes a long time to run if you use a large amount of data. I am using automobile price data for demonstration purpose. We will then train the dataset using multiple regression models using cross-validation to predict the price of a car based on its features. I have already pre-processed the dataset by using select columns in dataset and missing value scrubber. I also have linear regression model which is untrained. Now I will drag cross-validate model on the canvas. You can find cross-validate model under machine learning tab. This model has two inputs and two outputs. The first input should be from untrained model and the second input should be a data set. The first output will provide scored results containing predictions and the second output will provide evaluation results by folds where we can measure the accuracy of the predictions and trained model. Cross-validation is useful for reducing bias in a model that can be caused by using a single training set. Instead of dividing the data into just two sets, one for training and one for testing, we use cross-validation to partition the entire data set into multiple folds and build a model on each fold. By default, cross-validate model uses 10-fold cross-validation. If you want to specify a different number of folds, you can use the partition and sample module. And then select the assign to folds option to specify number of folds to split evenly. Watch video tutorial on partition and sample control to specify different number of folds. Here I will be using default 10-fold cross-validation. For that, first I will connect linear regression model to cross-validate model and then I will connect the data set to cross-validate model. Because cross-validate model trains a model, you must specify the response variable. In this experiment, we will select the column price as the response variable. I will keep random seed to zero to randomize the distribution of instances into the folds and I will run the experiment. Cross-validate model randomly splits the training data into 10 folds. A fold is a subset of the original data set. In each iteration over the data set, cross-validate model uses one fold as a validation data set and uses remaining folds to train a model. Each of the 10 models is tested against the data in all the other folds. After all iterations are complete, cross-validate model creates a set of performance matrix for all models, as well as scores for the entire data set. To view the score results, right-click on the left output port of cross-validate model and select Visualize. You can see that two additional columns are created in the output result. First is Fold Assignments which indicates which fold each row of data was assigned to during cross-validation. The second column is scored labels, which gives us the predicted value for each row. In the price column, we can see the original price of each car and in scored labels column, we can see the predicted price of that car. Now, let's see how to interpret these results. The first row has been assigned to fold 5. Therefore, this particular model was trained on the data in folds 0 to 4 and folds from 6 to 9. This model also predicts the value of scored labels for this row 
as 16157.13. Now let's go ahead and see the second output result of cross validate model. It contains a summary report and a careful review and comparison of fold results can help you to identify irregularities in the data set or the model. The first column fold number is an identifier for the current fold results. The second column number of examples in fold gives us the total count of rows assigned to each fold. Model indicates the type of learner that was used in creating the models. The matrix that are provided depend on the type of the model that we are evaluating. Since we have used linear regression model, the matrix are mean absolute error, root mean squared error, relative absolute error, relative squared error, coefficient of determination. Now mean absolute error measures the average magnitude of the errors in a set of forecasts without considering their direction. It is the average over verification sample of the absolute values of differences between forecast and the corresponding observation. Root mean squared error is a quadratic scoring rule which measures the average magnitude of the error. It gives relatively higher weights to large errors. It is useful when large errors are undesirable. For both mean absolute error and root mean squared error, lower values are better. Relative absolute error is relative to a simple predictor, which is just the average of actual values. It shows how large the error is in relation to the correct value. Relative squared error is relative to what it would have been if a simple predictor had been used. The relative squared error takes the total squared error and normalizes it by dividing the total squared error of the simple predictor. Relative absolute error and relative squared error are very similar. The coefficient of determination tells us how well your predictions are correlated with the true outputs. The closer to one, the better. Here we have got a pretty good coefficient of determination, which means that our predictions are reasonable. So based on the cross validation results, you can tune the model parameters or decide which model to use in the scoring experiment. Because cross-validate model trains and validates the model multiple times, it is much more computationally intensive and takes longer time than validating on random split to complete. So this is how cross-validate model works. Thank you.